If I were to ask you to think of an electric car, there's a good chance you'd think of a Tesla. And that is no accident. That's the fruit of nearly 20 years of hard work. Tesla is technically an auto manufacturer, but their impact on the world is much bigger than their valuation as a car company. Their mission, their reason for existing, was always bigger than just making and selling cars. The company states in big bold letters on their about page, Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. They are undeniably doing exactly that. The wheels have been in motion since 2006. I'd argue that Tesla is close to fulfilling its mission. The EV landscape is shifting right before our eyes. Once the new Roadster, Cybertruck, Semi, and this rumored Model 2 are on the road, it'll mean the company has addressed the major market segments in terms of price points. Then, I think, Tesla's master plan will be complete. However, as they state at the very end of their about page, this is just the beginning. Under Elon Musk's leadership, he's been CEO since 2008, Tesla has forged a new reality for personal transportation as a byproduct of pursuing their mission. They've made electric cars cool. It's important to remember how far they've come though. For most of the company's existence, Tesla has been fighting to survive, sometimes weeks away from complete doom. In the last few years alone, they've made serious strides in terms of vehicle deliveries, sales, and the stock price, and more importantly, garnering respect from competitors. Tesla is dominating the EV market. In 2020, the Model 3 was the best-selling electric car in the world by a long shot. To date, the company has delivered around 1.4 million vehicles in total, and nearly 500,000 of them came in 2020 alone. Meanwhile, Tesla is building two more huge factories, one in Berlin and the other in Texas, and they're doing that massive expansion in China at Giga Shanghai. The company is at the forefront of a steep growth curve. If they can maintain 50% year-over-year growth, they'll soon be delivering millions of cars per year. If Ford with the Model T established the paradigm of personal transportation for the previous century, Tesla's in 3021 carrying the torch in first place as it does laps around its competitors. It is clear that Tesla has now become the leader of EVs, and if you're a car company that wants to be around for the next 100 years, you gotta do what Tesla's doing. While there's plenty of fair and necessary criticism of Tesla, Elon, and the cars, I'm gonna lay out the things that Tesla has done right. In order to succeed in their mission, Tesla recognized and executed on a few critical truths. First was Elon's business strategy he laid out in part one of his master plan all the way back in 2006, before the original Roadster came out. The plan was simple, build an expensive, low volume sports car, use that money to build a more affordable car, use that money to build an even more affordable car, and so on, all while pushing clean energy. Beyond that, they had to change people's perception of what an electric car could be. Because prior to Tesla's, electric cars were niche, impractical, and just uncool. Back in the mid to late 2000s, electric cars just couldn't replace gasoline cars, let alone be better than them. They just weren't ready. The battery tech wasn't there, and practicality of ownership just didn't make sense. And this is exactly where Tesla has succeeded. These cars don't just compete with gasoline cars, they are better than traditional cars in almost every way and by a large margin. There are endless articles, videos, and reviews on Tesla cars. I've even got a few of my own reviews, but I'm just gonna focus on Tesla as a company. Here's what Tesla did right to get people driving their cars. First off, they made great cars that happen to be electric. The user experience as a driver in conjunction with the gigantic touchscreen is the best in class. The vehicle UI is miles ahead of what a traditional infotainment system is. It is indisputable that Teslas are fun to drive. They've got great autonomous features and they are super fast, but you knew this already. Tesla has a massive supercharging network across the country and around the world. You also probably knew this. They also sort of rewrote the rules for how you buy a car. Nowadays, it's dead simple to purchase one using your smartphone in under two minutes. But they also rethought the dealership model and have Tesla showrooms worldwide. It's not all sunshine and rainbows for Tesla though. The company is notorious for operating on Elon time, meaning he says things will happen within a certain time period and they just don't. 
Elon has also said some really questionable things about the pandemic. He's gotten himself into hot water with the SEC and the list goes on. There have been numerous customer complaints about quality control issues like panel gaps in particular. And again, Tesla as a company was very close to running out of money on more than one occasion, but things are very different now. So where does that leave us today? The work that Tesla has done effectively forced the competition to set new goals and attempt things they probably never would have. Most of the major car manufacturers around the world have pledged to produce or are already producing electric vehicles. And that's a big deal. Ford has the Mustang Mach-E. It's out already and people seem to love them. Audi has the e-tron. Volvo has the XC40 Recharge. Volkswagen has the ID Buzz and ID4, and they're spending a lot of money on R&D in the EV space. Hyundai recently announced the electric version of the Kona. Cadillac showed off two new EVs at CES 2021, the Lyric and the Celestic. These aren't out yet, but they look pretty dope to me. GM recently showed off an electrified version of the infamous Hummer. It honestly looks pretty sick. And then there's the list of new car companies that are being created as natively EV makers, like Rivian, Canoe, Lucid, and Bollinger. These names might be unfamiliar to you today, but I have a feeling these and maybe more could become household names in the next decade and beyond. I think that the legacy OEMs, as well as the newcomers, realize that they need to be making great electric cars in order to compete with Tesla. If the Fords and GMs of the world want to be around in the next century, they gotta adapt or die. If Tesla didn't exist, if over one and a half million people didn't take a leap of faith and buy an electric car from a relatively new car company, none of the electric cars I just listed would be in development or on the road today. So Tesla, thank you for accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. We certainly need it.